Good morning! This morning we are here at the largest Australian weekend markets called Carrera Markets. So Carrera Markets is open every Saturday and Sunday from 7am to 3pm. So if you're in the area and you're looking for a weekend market to get some fresh produce or just look see, walk walk in general, this is the place that you want to go to. So it's a pretty huge market. And it's, it's open air, so there's also like individual shops and stalls. So let me bring you guys along and let's take a look at Carrera Markets together. So here we are at Carrera Markets and it's spanning a very very huge area. So you can expect a lot of shops and stalls inside. So let's go check out what local produce there are, fruits, vegetables. So let's go! So this area actually reminds me pretty much of you know um, Chatuchak in Bangkok. So the only difference is that the air here is cold and nice now. Whereas in Chatuchak it will be like hot, you know, hot and humid. The mix of uh, shops at this Carrera market is very diverse. So there are plants, there are like um, handbags, sunglasses, toys. I even spotted a toy shop selling lots of cute Pokemon stuffed toys. Okay, but the Pokemon toys are not cheap. Lah. So one stuffed toy is about, I saw a medium sized one for like $40. So anyway, we're just gonna walk through slowly and take a look at the rest of the stalls as well. It's a marathon. Yeah. Ah, you run today? No, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, that's here at the food area and there is some juice, ice cream and also a cafe called Carrera Cafe and in fact there are a lot of people at the cafe already so it's like everybody's getting their brunch in before shopping at Carrera Markets. We are headed over to the east side market where there are about 300 over more shops and cafes so you can imagine how many shops there are available at this market and how huge it is. So anyway, the good thing is that the shops are very spaced out so there's a lot of space, not like Chatuchak where everything is very crammed together so here you get a lot of social distancing and we are unmasked because it's like outdoor and it's like the air is nice and cool right so take the chance <laughs> Best games, three for ten dollars. I guess you can go fishing. <laughs> so it's been a really really long time since we've been to this kind of markets. Like we haven't been to Bangkok Chatuchak for a very long time. So pretty nice to walk around here and check out. There's a lot of um, interesting stuff here. Like for example, there's this shop behind me that's selling like eggs knife and even have like this vintage sewing machine so a lot of the stuff is uh, pretty cool and you know like even so vintage that you can't get it so easily let me show the horseshoe she even found like, a lot of horseshoes <laughs> pretty interesting stuff Right, there's a mixture of both outdoor shops that we were walking around just now and there's also a very huge indoor space which we're gonna check out later. So if it's raining and you don't wanna get wet, you can also just do your shopping in the indoor space as well. Or you can sit at one of the many cafes that's available here. So it's a pretty nice place to chill on a lazy Saturday morning. Would you just check out the size of the sweet potatoes? This is my hand and that's the size. It's a monster sweet potatoes, yeah? We 
we are now in the inside area of the market and there's a lot of uh, things like fresh fruits, vegetables, more clothing stores, souvenir stores throughout the whole internal area of the Carrera market. So just now you saw the size of the giant sweet potato, right? There are really a lot of uh, fruits just behind me. Walking aimlessly around and we saw a section that has baby farm animals. So there's even an alpaca there. Oh my god, it's so cute. Let me show you the cute little alpaca. You see that long neck thing behind me. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cute. The small lamb, right? Oh god. We are here now at this uh, very authentic looking Italian restaurant on Surfers Paradise. It's called Costa di Oro Italian Restaurant and they have like lunch specials of pizza, pasta and salad for $18. So we're having pasta since it's like couple loading day before the marathon tomorrow. So I think a couple of Singaporeans actually came to this restaurant a couple of days ago and it looked pretty good. So I thought we'd come and try as well. So we have each ordered one pasta, one cream and one uh, tomato based. So we need for to come and looking forward to dig in. So the pasta came very fast and OMG, the portions are huge. You can imagine for $18, this is really a very very huge portion. So we, I ordered the marinara with um, seafood and there's lots of calamari, lambs, mussels, prawns and chili has gotten the penny corn polo which is a cream based uh, pasta with penny and chicken. I, I, I'm not sure how we're going to finish this but you can see that the smoky smoke is coming out. Mm. Pasta is really flavorful, very well grilled, and there's giant calamari here. So the tomato sauce is really really good and it's very very well mixed with the pasta. Pasta texture is also perfect. We're kind of sharing our food. And here is my plate of penny pasta. So I put some parmesan cheese on top and a bit more. It looks really really creamy. Oh and this place looks super popular. Like it's full house during lunch. So I guess this must be one of the places with the better pasta around here. Mm. Penny pasta is also very well cooked with the creamy sauce. And they are very generous with the mushroom and chicken as well. A piece of chicken here. Chicken is tender, not too hard. So this is where you should go for your carbo loading lunch. Costa di Oro Italian restaurant. We are now here at the Crazy Cat Cafe that's located at Surfers Paradise for an hour of fun with some cats. So this cafe has got food, drinks and you can have some time to play with the kittens and cats available so let's head in There are 17 cats at this crazy cat cafe so we're gonna have some fun playing with the cats can you spot a cat hiding there? Hi!
trying to get a cat to jump, but a cat is always jumping, he's moving. <laughs> we are here at Pancakes on the Rocks at Surfers Paradise and we are loading up after having finished the full marathon this morning. Wearing the finisher tea now, so it's cheating. So we haven't eaten breakfast, okay we had a little bit of breakfast before the run So now we're sort of loading up to replenish all the calories and the fuel loss So we have ordered this uh, chicken and mushroom crepes And if you are at rock pancakes on the rocks right You definitely need to order the pancakes So we also got like the peanut chocolate, peanut butter chocolate pancakes So we're looking forward to digging because I'm kind of starving now Pretty simple stuff, but I guess we deserve it since we just ran 42k. Okay, the crepe is really nice and crispy on the outside and very soft on the inside, and it's filled with a generous filling of chicken and mushroom. Mm -hmm. It basically tastes a bit like those creamy chicken mushroom pasta, the, the filling, right? Placed inside crepe. It's served with a tomato based sauce and also some sour cream it goes really well oh my god really loading back super hungry now mm. did you just check out the pancake i took my share and it's basically a chocolate pancake with peanut butter sauce whipped cream and ice cream and uh, ice cream mm. so if you're hanging like on the rocks right of course, you need to try their pancakes, which is why we got one sweet pancake to try. Pancake is very nice and chocolatey. Mm. Very soft and goes very well with the peanut butter sauce. So, pancakes on the rocks is definitely a must try if you love a mix of both sweet or savory stuff and if you love pancakes in general. So, they got like all day breakfast as well, which also has pancakes. So do pop by during area. This afternoon's post marathon activity is sit on a boat. Okay, it's basically the aqua duck, and it's pretty similar to our duck tours that we have in Singapore. So the boat, um, the bus will actually convert into a boat and go for a river cruise. So lazy person's activity after the marathon, just sit down. <laughs> so we're waiting for the boat to get ready for boarding. The boat is going into the water now, so it does a little city tour around the beach area, which we already saw this morning doing our 42 km run, and it's headed into the water. Yeah. Whoa. Headed down into the water. Let's see if there's any splash. We. I bet it is, Ducky. Alright guys, we're officially on the road water. Keep an eye out for dolphins while we're in these waters because they do like so to travel up So it's pretty much like Singapore's duck tours. You can now take your seatbelts off, move around the boat. Just don't all move to one side. attraction which is located in the Chevron Renaissance Mall and okay basically this, I got a combo for the Aqueduct and Infinity and it looks like there's a lot of lights and holograms and whatever that's inside so we'll take a look at once we enter it looks pretty happening and this, this, one, this attraction looks pretty popular because there's like a queue yesterday and today when we saw it which will be fun we had an interesting time at Infinity but they didn't allow any photos or video recording so basically inside is like a super dark maze with like various rooms like with a lot of surprises like wobbly floors, strobe lights 
and basically it was amazing. So if you are the kind that is scared of the dark or claustrophobic, right, it's not a place for you. In fact, I think it's not the strobing effects. Uh. See, really also a bit dizzy. But anyway, we made it out. So now we are at Betty's Burgers having our last meal in Gold Coast before we have to fly back to Singapore tomorrow. So we decided to try this Betty's Burgers because basically they are rated 4.6 out of 5 stars and they are one of the best restaurants in the Cocos so I thought we'd just give it a try So we are just ordering like 2 classic burgers, 1 each and an onion rings to share So yeah, let's take a look at the food once it comes Our food's here and this Betty's Burger is apparently very popular because the whole restaurant is like full now so we got onion rings to go along with the burger. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's like onion. There's a fresh onion fried in the batter. The batter is very crunchy and crispy. Very nice. This is our burger. We got a classic burger. And it looks a bit like Shake Shack's burger, right? I really like it Shake Shack. But I think the portion is bigger than Shake Shack. The beef is a very big patty. Mm. The beef is very juicy. And I think this burger is really worth the hype. No wonder everybody is still having dinner tonight. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my vlog on um, how a couple of days spent sightseeing in Gold Coast. And we're gonna finish up our burger dinner now. Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!